So I wanted to do a bit of a review on the West Tone 4 in-ear monitors because I'm finding it quite difficult to find any decent reviews of these on YouTube. Now these are the West Tone 4, not the West Tone 4R, but, 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 bit of a necessary upgrade I think. I shipped these off to a fantastic guy in America who did a removable cable mod for me. So for all intents and purposes, these are now the same as the West Tone 4R with a removable cable. Also, something I have gone and done is I got a pure silver cable made. Silver might not be that everyone's preference, but it's a handmade cable, it's 8 core. If you have a look here, unbelievable build quality. Now, I did get this cable made in China, but it definitely is pure silver, it definitely is 8 core. And it definitely only cost me 80 bucks. So, for a pure silver 8 core cable for $80, pretty much can't beat that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I am using the tri flange tips, of course. These are by far the best tips I've used with these headphones. They stay in under any circumstances. They make a perfect seal. I did trim the base a little bit at the bottom of the flange, just as so they sit deeper in my ear. Um, I know some people cut off the third flange at the top there. My last pair of triple flange, I did have the third flange cut off. Uh, but then I went and cut off the base, which made them too short and they get falling out of my ear. So, what to say about these headphones? Oh, um, so between the removable cable mod and the cable itself, it cost me about $180 on top of the $400 that I paid for these headphones. which. In comparison for a four driver headphone or four driver in ear monitor, that is really cheap. Um, so don't let that price sound like it's expensive because it's not. So these headphones, um, I one of my favorite audio brands is Dyne Audio, and I was lucky enough, or am lucky enough to have a full active four-way focal utopia car sound system which currently is in my new car. Um, Dyn Audio has a very very smooth, very laid back, very honest sound. Uh, focal has a very in, right in your face, very analytical, almost harsh. Some people kind of don't like that sound. Um, I'm 50-50 so I like a sound I can listen to that won't fatigue my ears after listening to one album, but I do like a very detailed sound because I'm used to mixing and mastering here in my studio and I have pretty analytical ears. I like to listen very closely to everything I have in my ears, basically. Um, so out of the box, the separation is fantastic, which would be down to the three-way crossover and there being four drivers. Um, a little bit too laid back though is my only critique. They only play up to 18 kilohertz instead of the kind of universal 20. Arguably, if you can actually hear a difference there, they play down to 10 hertz and they kind of start to drop off about 40, but they do get down to 10. If you turn it up and have a listen to a sine wave going through it, you can hear it get all the way down there. For the price, I don't think you're going to get any better. West Tone just released their six driver headphone for $1,000. Part of that cost though does come because of their removable cable. My cable will completely destroy the cable that you get with their headphones. And this only cost me 80 bucks. I'm pretty sure about $200, $250 of what you're paying in the new West Tone headphones is their cable. It is worth nowhere near what they're charging for it. Um, the new Shure E46 in-ear monitors with four drivers. 
Um, hearing amazing things about them. I haven't heard them myself. People say they are basically the best universal in-ear monitors ever to have existed anywhere, ever. Um, again, they're $1,000. They're brand new. So keep in mind you are paying for a brand new product. Removable cable again, which comes with the cable, which will not be worth what they're saying it is. Um, if you can find a pair of these on the market second hand, buy them. Buy them, buy them, buy them. Get the uh, removable cable mod, then find a cable maker who makes cables at a reasonable price. Get it from China. I hate to say it. Um, silver is silver. It is 99.999% pure silver. It doesn't matter how it's been treated. You're not going to hear the difference. I promise you. If you, I mean, I don't know if I can hear the difference between this and an OCC copper cable. Uh, I just love the look of pure silver. I've always wanted to try pure silver cable just to see if I could hear any difference. Um, back to the sound though. Very laid back. They drop down to 10 hertz, which I do believe they do. The top detail is lacking a little bit, which could be due to the fact that they only play up to 16 kilohertz, uh, 18 kilohertz instead of 20. Uh, but like on all <coughs> in-ear monitor headphones, a good EQ will make the difference. This is my EQ curve for these headphones. Uh, that's in reverse, by the way. So this is your high frequency. That's the 16 to 18 thousand hertz, kilohertz. Uh, and this is all the way down to about 20 on this side. Sorry, 32, you can see there on this EQ. Um, so I basically got rid of the mid bass hump just here, around 200 hertz. Uh, and then brought in more top end, just to add some more detail. This little bump here, around the 8 thousand mark. Move that up and down to your tasting. Where I have it, it makes snares and cymbals really pop and really sizzle, which kind of gives me that focal utopia sound that I love, but they have brilliant tweeters, so they're playing up to about 40,000 hertz, which is nuts. Probably a bit stupid. Um, <clears throat> I do love that kind of detail though. It's still not fatiguing to my ears. Uh, as you saw on that graph, I took the bass right up, or right up down to the very bottom of the spectrum. Uh, not that these are lacking in bass, but I am a child of modern music, so I am used to hearing stuff that's freaking lathered in thick, boomy bottom end. Uh, these will never get boomy. They are not muddy, they are not boomy. Um, so even when you turn up that bottom end, it just adds kick and punch. And a lot of that kick and punch will be translated better with tri-flange tips. Um, what else can I say about them? Ergonomically, they look beautiful. They are a very, very nice little package. Um, they sit completely flush in my ears, no matter where I'm wearing them. Which I will demonstrate right now. Oh yeah, the old West Tone 2 prong adapter. Now you can, of course, when you get this modification done, if you get it done, go for the new single round plug on the end of the headphone. Um, I'm not going to be getting rid of these in a long time. So, no real preference as to which one you use. Some people do say the older style is better. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe for connection and security, these will definitely not come out. I've got to give you a good tug to get these pins out of the headphone. So, in terms of fit, Flush. Um, they don't protrude at all. They sit beautifully. Um, as you can see, the actual plug itself sits right in the little divot here in my ear, which is magic. Um, these are my everything headphones. I wear them to the gym. I do final mixes on them. Um, I just listen to radio through these things. Digital radio, so it's a nice clean signal, but magic. If you can get this second hand, maybe around the $300 mark, a good custom cable, get them modded, 500 bucks will get you a pair of 
as good as, dare I say without listening, as good as, if not better, than the new Westone W60 and the Shure 846 headphones. Um, you know, that is my review on these things. So, clinical, very clear, after a bit of EQing, same as every kind of in-ear monitor. Uh, they look amazing, get a good cable, get a good tip, Try the tri-flange, there's nothing better. And enjoy.